Hello and welcome to Construction Wharf. Today we've actually come out on location to the Cambridge Brick Festival, which is actually in St Ives. And as you can see just uh, back here, this is the one leisure centre in St Ives. We've got the early bird ticket, which is 10am, uh, uh, but we've got coming about half an hour earlier. And as you can see, the car park's actually overflowed already. So it's going to be a very popular event. This is my actual first uh, Brick Festival. So I'm excited to see, um, you know, what sort of stuff's in there, like the different um, displays people have made and uh, also what sets they're selling as well, like different retired sets. So it's going to be very interesting. Let's take a look. The sign makes it like we're on the right track. Hopefully it's somewhere up these stairs. Uh, looks like you uh, check your tickets in at this desk here. Nice Lego head flower pots. We're checked in now and there's this uh, cool large sort of minifigure Star Wars character I think called Ray. We've made it in now and uh, as you can see it's much bigger than I thought actually. We can see many different stores here selling uh, a lot of different Lego sets. And then also there's some uh, exhibitors displaying their own creations. So first I'm going to check out the stores in case uh, there's anything I want and it sells out. Then we can look at people's creations afterwards. These sellers have a huge range of uh, Lego sets, uh, both big and small. And uh, many of them are retired as well, so it's quite interesting to pick through. Like these uh, Lego Star Wars minifigures, and they've got light up lightsabers, really nice. And the seller's also got many different pieces to customise your minifigures. There's some pick a brick stations here where for £7 you can fill a cup with any of the pieces on offer here. I've had a little look through, but uh, just getting through here. They do maybe look a bit limited, unfortunately. We found some Lego merchandise stores too where they sell things like mugs and keyrings. And books too. We've had a good run round and made some purchases. I'll reveal those at the end of the video. But now we're going to look around at all the unique creations made. And then also look at any unique store selling stuff too. These Mario creations by Res Royal Incredible. We've got Toad, Mario with Cappy. Yoshi and his uh, nose looks really good. We've got a Paper Mario. Thwomp, that uh, looks really good. And then we've got Boo, Luigi, Wild Luigi. And then uh, Donkey Kong there, and you might see there the question block, which reminds us of our first set that got us back into Lego. And here's the talented and passionate creator, Wes. Legend. This trio of souls is from the Avatar movies. So it's by Jason Joyner, and you can see he's massively increased the size compared to the one you can buy officially from Lego. Looks really impressive. And it's very detailed at the bottom as well, got a nice sort of... Um, plant life there on the um, alien planet they're on. Then we've actually got the Navi people there. Just come to have a close look at a store selling loads of cool uh, Lego animals. So let's have a close look in. We've got like cats, just focus, there are uh, teddy bears, little bunnies, nice range of dogs. And then actually over here, of course our favourite little chihuahuas. Got some iguanas there actually as well. There's some squirrels, seagulls, some owls, and other animals too. We've got like sort of monkeys, alligators, sheep, little baby lambs, and then the pigs, and they've even got little baby uh, piglets, cats, and uh, birds. Really good range. We just kind of here. We've got horses, reindeers, alligators. Looks like the Lego minifigures died in an alligator's uh, clutches. And the same seller's also got a really good range of castle. And then uh, Disney minifigures too. Here we have a really well done farmer's market uh, type creation. Nice big tree and if I just focus you'll see the uh, squirrel on top. And panning down. You see there's like a farmer's market with lots of produce. Lots of different fruit and vegetables, and there's a nice greenhouse as well with uh, the carrot guy working on some produce inside there. You can kind of see some bits in there. And then uh, we've got some like florists working on their flowers, and then, uh, some people having a picnic near the tree. And I've just noticed there's a little minifigure camouflage in the tree here. <laughs> this is the Falconer Blacksmith Hut by Ralph Gilsberg. He's a very nice, um, humble guy. He's done a great job on this. Um, 
blacksmith hut. You can see he's got a nice fat roof with a falcon on top here. Raph has kindly turned around the model so I can see inside. We might recognise this minifigure that we've had in the past, the falcon here. We've got like a little work uh, desk for her to work on. Then just down here looks like a little workstation for cutting wood. Raph also has made the meeting on Mandalore. I've not really seen much style, so I don't really get many of the references in this set. There's a cool little character on the top. These range of Technic trucks are by Cliff Marsh. All very detailed, and they've got working sort of pulley systems on the back of them. This black truck reminds me of the Transformer Motor Master, actually. The Concord and Blackbird by David Willoughby look really good. Both planes uh, have really sort of seamless curves that don't look too blocky. Concord with its distinctive nose. This is a uh, Star Wars display with many uh, creations made. Got like, like lightsabers and a lot of ships, some large minifigures back there. And if we just zoom in closely here, um, I really like the colours sort of pop on this with the lava. This is uh, the fight when um, Anakin became Darth Vader. I'm impressed the creators managed to create this uh, QR code for themselves of Lego. And here we have a little railway called Bricking and Don City by Peter Goodwin. I like he's put a lot of details underneath the bridge. Like there's maybe a crime going on there. Pickpocket probably. There's the train itself on the tracks. Then under the tracks it looks like we've got a vagrant minifigure having a drink. They've got like a little uh, bird swooping down. Like this little sort of stream with a little rubber duck on it. Classic dump shopping trolley. And then there's uh, I guess the guy cleaning up some graffiti. Really good sense of humour from this creator here. Got some uh, Care Bears there with the um, dot art. All those little Care Bears with the uh, different signs on their chest. I believe this creator is a family so they've all made things together which is really nice. It's like a little fountain scene. Got some uh, buildings that work there. Got some builders on top still building it. Let's see here. Ah, so we've got um, different like habitats made for the variety of minifigures. Gardens of the Galaxy there. Nice uh, colours. Let's tell you start back there. And let's see what else we've got. So we've got like sort of Christmas uh, wintry type scene there. Looks really good. This is the more sort of like Halloween one. That's uh, mini figure habitat by the talented Susie Smith. So it's like Easter type one there with a chick and the bunny on top. This is more of like a fantasy land one. See the falconer again uh, just there, looks good. It's like a Lunar Year, New Year one. We've got the everyone else awesome, different colours there. Got like a nice like um, underwater area, castle, the Egyptian one. And then we've got some uh, Disney as well with the uh, new minifigures on Aladdin too. Got a Lego City typed in here by Chris Cooper. See the farmer get some uh, water out of the uh, river there. A little camp sort of ground area. As we get into the city. You can see like a car showroom, that's quite nice. And then uh, we've got a little Lego store too. And that's quite a nice little art sort of gallery exhibition there. It's like trucks had an accident. <laughs> Ryan helicopter. Here's a fire station. Have a little look on the inside. See some uh, firemen at work there. Someone on a break actually. There's a large range of emergency vehicles. Many uh, fire engines. And then I uh, like how some of these are like lit up. But like you know the um, sirens flashing and the buildings are illuminated. See inside. 
This is Chris Cooper's biggest model, an absolutely massive uh, fire station. See, it's even got like a balcony area. And on the roof, we've got solar panels as well. So Chris is holding it open for me. Uh, there's so much detail in here. You can see the base where the fire engines go, and then the suits and the helmets. If we scan inside, we can see like the firemen at a meeting. Then uh, there's a dog having a meeting as well. There's a man in action. You see, that's where they get their uh, dinner. There's their tea room. Then uh, there's some beds where they can sleep on site. Always ready to respond to any emergencies. Another set by Jason Joyner is Roadrunner. A lot of uh, good, cool scenario details. There's Roadrunner there. And uh, Wiley Cody getting uh, stretched as he's falling down. Just like the cartoons. You can see um, Roadrunner there is uh, dropping a boulder on poor Wiley Cody down below. And then just over here. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, yes, uh, I like this one with the rocket, and he's uh, as he's getting pulled on, he's getting stretched. Then back here we have Ray Runner um, so fast he's got a little dust trail. The creator of this pinball machine is just fine up for me to see it in action. And that's the QR code if you're interested. And here it is. Oh, here comes the music. A lot of moving parts and the lit up sign looks really good. So if we have a close look at the actual pinball machine. See like a little boat sliding side to side. Then like that sort of uh, spinning like bumpery parts. A rocket. There's like some sort of teacup. Nice sort of plane rocking up and down. Let's see overall look. And then there's a place of the sign you can see uh, with the nice lights and the minifigures in there too. And this was the uh, prototype one uh, which you can see she made and it's coming a long way, it looks uh, so good now. This uh, creation doesn't have a title but um, put a lot of uh, parts into it. Nice big tree. There's a little horse and a cart there, which looks like a sort of wizard type character. Few kids exploring this, like uh, getting to a forest area. There. There's a little, um, some sort of little hideout back there. It's a bit too dark to see, but there's definitely something in there. Found some Lego dots up, and uh, I think this is supposed to be Pedro Pascal. These Lego Star Wars creations are made by a young man who's only 13 years old. He's done a really good job, and um, yeah, I think he's well on his way to becoming a Lego designer. Nice ship there. This minifigure art store is really cool. So they've actually put minifigures uh, into frames and they've uh, managed to make you know distinctive pop culture characters. People like Jack Sparrow there. What else we got? Oh there's um, Woody for Toy Story. Father Ted, that's incredible. Ted Crilly. And he falls on horses. It's not really classy, you know, sort of in the frames. Breaking Bad, there's uh, Walt White in his underwear. Lethal Weapon, oh, a little gizmo from Gremlins. Dr. Tardis. So much good stuff here. There's a uh, slash from Guns N' Roses. And Miss Piggy and uh, oh, that's quite a recent one. There's just the Mickey, Blues Brothers. I've not seen anything like this before. So that's a good idea. Just find this uh, Pride of all, so I think the uh, wolf will like little Minecraft wolves. This uh, Lego uh, store seller was telling us about his uh, Lego castle sets he saved. Got some really like old classic sets there, look really good. And some other sets at the back here. Yeah. I think I had that set like a few years ago. And he's got a lot of uh, minifigures on display too for sale. A lot of Star Wars. And we've got, you know, some Disney. And a variety of like, you know, different pop culture characters. 
Samson. Such a good range. A few of the really rare Lego goats there. And just down here we've got um, a number of retro, really good condition Lego catalogs. Here's a call Tron Mock by the prolific Jason Joyner. It's a shame it's in this um, sort of cabinet as the reflections make it hard to um, record. A quick look at this massive uh, Star Wars scene. Got this Lego set here with some of the uh, modular buildings. What I really like about it is um, just down here you'll see this hot dog guy. The poor guy's been chased by a pack of dogs. At the seaside by Brick Bricksworth, love the name. Like the um, the depth of this wave with a surfer inside. Then we've got a burger stand here, and uh, Superman's found uh, quite a space to have his burger. A nice like a uh, beach. I haven't actually seen Jason join us today because his um, set's all dotted around the whole of the Brick Festival. This is his uh, cavalry fort. See, it's a, a well manned uh, fort. Got the cannons at the ready. There's plenty of activity on the inside, too. I like the roof, actually. It reminds me of the, um, the old fishing store. This is ET Phone Home by Boom Bricks. Really uh, standout set. They've got the nice lit up sky of the moon and then this sort of forestry. Then eating using his powers to fly the bike. So this uh, sets such a no go idea is to vote for. If it gets 10,000 votes, it'd be turned into a retail set. So I'm voting. The same creators also made this Wakanda battle. Uh, so Wakanda from the Black Panther movies. See a whole army of uh, minifigures battling out down there. And a nice light up uh, pieces there. We've got Paul Emmett who's got himself involved somehow. We've got like uh, Captain America, maybe Thanos. And then just up here on this mountain we've got a litter area and a black panther. And the creators also made these uh, cars. And then he was telling me these actually gold parts he has had to spray himself because they didn't exist. Got these island uh, displays here. Really like this volcano with uh, the lit up lava. Lava erupting out of the volcano, looks so good. We've got some sort of like um, pirate type theme stuff here. And uh, this is an ingenious part in usage. They've used like um, garage door pieces to make a waterfall with motor. Pretty cool. See what else we've got over here? Got like sort of uh, Islanders type pieces here. This must be the uh, Islanders base. That's a road bridge, pirate ship. This poor minifig here is being surrounded by sharks. This is uh, quite clever as well, where they've um, made it motorized so the minifigures just walk along and then back out of scene again. We're pretty much done now. Uh, we found a little balcony just to show you uh, the sense of scale of the actual Brick Festival here. There's also a smaller room just outside of here as well. It's hard on time and then the amount of people at the stores to film them as well. So we've got a little bird's eye view. You can see the different sellers. Selling like minifigures and like the animal pieces we saw earlier. Many different sets. See more uh, resale sets. Then we've got the own uh, Mario Creation, Mock Creations dotted uh, about with the stores as well. Even though it's uh, gotten uh, well into the afternoon, it's all very busy. I found um, you do need to shop around. Um, I did notice that on either side of the room there was the fishing store, but the difference in price between the two sellers was about £100, which is uh, a massive difference. This store had a good range of uh, retired sets available. It looks like they've got reasonable stock left. Now I think it's time to return back home and to show the wolf and all of you too what uh, items we've bought. Well, we're now back with the uh, wolf at home. 
we've had a really great day out. Um, it was, this was my first Brick Festival, and I didn't really realise the sort of size and scale of it. It was, um, as you saw, a massive venue with lots of different things to go and see. Really enjoyed seeing all the different creations people had made. Um, there's some, you know, really sort of talented um, and passionate um, creators out there, and it was nice to meet to them, talk to them about what they made, and um, see the variety of things. So really enjoyed that. Then also we um, looked at uh, different things for sale. They had like a lot of uh, minifigures there and even retire sets, which is really interesting to see on things we might have missed. Uh, so uh, we want to have a look at uh, some of the things we bought in our little haul, don't we? So should we start and have a look at what we've got? Uh, so firstly, uh, because we got the early bird ticket, uh, we got a few free items. Um, with that, got these little poly bags, we got two. Got this little racing car, so it's uh, just a nice little bonus to have for free. And then also um, we got this, uh, like you can make different like model animals, a few simple basic bricks, but it's a, it's a nice little bonus to have. The next, um, one of the sellers was selling um, some minifigures that are retired. Uh, these were sort of in blind packs, but it did a good offer, it's like three for ten. So you know, quite a reasonable rate really. And I kind of like the, the fun of actually feeling for the minifigures as well, so I'm going to do that and see if I can get them right before I um, actually open them up. Uh, we did that in another video due to time. So we've got here the Series uh, 19 minifigures, and they're from 2019. So that's before we've got back into Lego, so uh, should be nice to see what we get in those. Looks like it's a, a good range from the front of the packet. We've got six of those. And then uh, we, we went for something else a little bit different, uh, Lego merchandise. We found these really cool like uh, minifigure head mugs. These so have got uh, the lady one, uh, you know, sort of the little wink. You can see the back of it as well, quite a large size these. They had some smaller sizes as well. So we thought um, you want a sort of a full drink, so we've got the larger mugs. And also got the um, the smiley face minifig head mug as well. That's really cool, isn't it? And then finally, um, got a retire set as well. I had a good look around all the um, sets and offer quickly, did the walk around just to make sure, you know, there's something we wanted and it's a, like a fair price. Then I saw this set from 2018. And uh, it was quite a reasonable price, and uh, just get it out here, trying to drop it. So we've got here the Winter Village Fire Station, so from 2018. It's a really nice set, and um, it wasn't really too much more than the actual retail price it came out for, so a very fair price. And um, you'll see here it's uh, got like, um, you know, like I uh, like the little Dalmatian and an ice hockey player. And uh, the, the fire truck as well, putting the star on tree, it's really cool. So we'll build that in a later video. So I just slide that to one side. So far we had a really great time. Uh, this was uh, the first Brick Festival we went to, so I would say definitely be attending more in the future. Hope you enjoyed seeing um, all the different things that we saw. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe because it will really help the channel as we are still quite young and growing. Until next time, it's a uh, goodbye from us. Bye!